Hello everyone, the steam engine is finally finished. So let me show you how I did that. But first I'd like to give a special thanks to all my Patreons for their support. If you aren't a Patreon yet, then please consider becoming one, because that would help out a lot. And in exchange you will enjoy all the nice extras. Okay, so in the last steam engine video it ended like this, where I finished the valve gear for the high pressure cylinder. So then I started working on the valve gear of the other two cylinders and because that is more or less the same as what I've made earlier, I didn't film all that. So if you want to know how it is made, then I advise you to watch this video. So when all the valve gear was finished, it was time to install the steam pipes, which are just glued in. This unfortunately didn't work very well, which made it leak a lot. It turned out that the crankshaft bearing bolts were not able to handle the enormous force of around 120 kilograms cycling around, which made them loosen up constantly, as you can see here. So I needed to make something else. So I welded in a steel plate with a hole in the center, so I could make a bigger hole with a hole saw. Unfortunately, the hole was not perfectly centered after that, but with the use of my Dremel I resolved that. Because I do not have a lathe for now, I had to come up with a method of making a housing for the crankshaft bearings. So I resolved this issue by using a piece of precision pipe with another pipe in it which is bolted in place. Then I welded this contraption in place, installed the bearings and all the other parts and then that was finished. So then it was time for another test run. Now it was time to resolve those leaky steam pipes. I did that by threading the valve holes and installing couplings. Luckily this worked pretty well.
To make the engine run smoother, I increased the weight of the makeshift flywheel and made sure that it was better fixed to the crankshaft and this all helped a lot. So then it was time to make something to reverse the valve gear simultaneously. I used some Lego Technic from my kits to help with visualizing how it would work. I first started with these 90 degree angles, but as you can see that limits the travel and in this case it only works because the tolerances are not that tight and the plastic is able to bend. So then I made it so that these bars are parallel to each other, which was the solution I needed. Then it was time to make it out of metal and install it onto the steam engine.
So that works perfectly. So now let's enjoy the Finnish steam engine doing its thing. Now the engine still has some leaks, but that is because some bolts need to be glued in, which I will do after it is painted. And also because it is quite cold now, the Teflon seals are quite stiff and won't seal properly. But this won't be an issue later because then the temperatures will be much higher. Now the plan is to install this engine onto a bike that is going to look like a Harley Davidson 1916. Instead of an e-bike, this will be called a T-bike where the T stands for thermodynamic. The working fluid will be butane and this butane will be heated by hot water. If you like more details about this plan, I advise you to watch this video of mine. But first I'm going to do some digging in the bunker, because I really need that to be finished. So when that is finished I have more space so I can insulate the workspace and install a lathe. This lathe will come in very handy for all my projects. Okay, that's it for this video. Please consider becoming a Patreon and help making all of this possible. Thank you all so much for watching and see you next time.